Hey guys, it's Budget Bunny here, back again with another video. I wanted to apologize to you guys because I know I haven't made too many videos in the last few weeks. Right after I got back from Cuba, I actually came down with a really nasty cold. And then even when my cold started to go away, I still had this cough that was keeping me up all night. So I kind of turned into a zombie for a while and I really had no energy to do anything, especially after spending my whole day at work. Um, so I wasn't really keeping anything updated. So I apologize for that, but it's good to be back. I am trying to work through my request videos, but I am also taking a while doing them because I want them to be good. So last week I did um, recommended rabbit supplies. That was a request somebody had asked from me. Unfortunately, they asked me about it, I think just before we went to Cuba. So I hadn't had a chance to do it, but if uh, you guys are looking at getting a rabbit or just want some advice, you should check that video out because I think I've pretty much covered all the necessities that you'd need. So right now we're just hanging out in the backyard. Um, I've got Rocky and Honey out right now and then I'll switch to Ollie and Willow later on. And it's just been absolutely gorgeous here these last few days. It's been nice and sunny but there's been no humidity. There's been this really nice cool breeze so it's perfect to sit out in the backyard and it's perfect for the rabbits too because it's not too hot. Um, we do have our backyard bunny proofed. It's the only thing that worries me is our back gate because it is a little high. So what I've done is put storage cubes there and then I've actually even put a solid box and then I decided because it was so nice I wanted to bring the guinea pigs out for their first time outside. So I've kind of set up their pen in front of all that. So there's absolutely no way that anyone can get out of the backyard. It's nice and safe. And the other thing is I am planning on doing a video about safely bringing your animals outdoors. Um, we do live in a very built up city area. That doesn't mean that you can just leave your animals to hop around outside. Um, you still have to take into account things like um, cats or um, wild animals, although they're very rare around here, it's there is a chance that there could be a hawk or something around. So you do need to be very wary if you're bringing your animals outdoors. If I lived in the country or even along the ravine or something, then I would definitely have some kind of covering. But because I'm sitting out here the entire time, I'm like a few feet away from everyone. If anything is suspicious to me, then I would definitely put them inside right away. But I've never had an issue around here. The most I see are some like cardinals and greckles and stuff and the odd crow, which isn't bigger than any of my rabbits. Um, and that's why I put lots of hidey spots for the guinea pigs. But like I said, I'm like a few feet away from them, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but I'll just kind of give you a quick overview of the setup here. So I've got their Maze Haven and Tunnel Haven out because they love to hop through that. And that's actually my laundry tree in the back and I've just kind of draped a quick blanket over it just to kind of give them a little extra shade. And then I put toys out for them but mostly they just love to absolutely, you know, run and hop and stretch. So they're having a great time. And the guinea pigs have spent about a half an hour hiding under the willow tent. I think they're a little nervous to come out, which is fine. I don't want to pressure them. But they have been nibbling at the grass a lot, so I think they like being outside. And what I've done is just kind of made a pen from um, the storage cube gates that I use upstairs. So I binder clip those together. And then I had made them a little pen that I set them up in usually when I'm cleaning their cage. So I think there is six, almost 20 grids there. So they've got a pretty good area there. And then, like I said, I put tubes and stuff in there and a few toys. They've got water and I sprinkled some pellets on the ground. I didn't give them hay because I figure they're eating the fresh grass right now. And they're only going to be out for a little bit and then I'll put them in. But they look so cute. Oh my goodness, look, they're coming out. 
Aww. So the guy with the really long hair is Sir Phineas Fluffy Talks. And the little guy there, he's getting almost the size of Finny now, but his hair's not as long yet. But that's Sir Samson McSqueaker Box, so we just call them Finny and Sammy. But yeah, they look like they're having a great time. So, basically, all I just was doing this video for was to say hi. Um, I guess that's about it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!